Hi, hi, it's me, Dora V here, and today uh, I, I'm gonna like do a terror spread for Nikki and Vulture. This is a pairing that I have considered in a very uh, fleeting manner, because you know my OTP is Mercury and Vulture, but I do have a graphic that features the two of them, so I figured why not? Like I said, it's been considered. But, uh, yeah, I think we all know, like, who Vulture really belongs with, so... So, let's see what we got. This one... Yeah, it's, uh... This one's one of the newer decks. Kind of. A lot of reversals. Jeez, it's like one, two, three, four, five reversals. Yeah, um... Yeah, how and where it begins. The three of swords reversed. Usually the Three of Swords is something you don't want to see, like, ever in a million years because it represents betrayal and disappointment, a reversal. It could mean, like, a healing of that, but it could also mean more loss, disorder, confusion, error, which, considering what's happening now with Nikki, like, look at those chains. Yeah, Joy did that. So this could mean that she's definitely alienated. She did suffer through loss. She is very distracted. Yeah, because of the situation with Joy. And at that point, Vulture is in that area, but he's basically someone who causes disorder and confusion. And Corleone got that right. It's, uh, it's he was a diversion to slow down the Justicar so Joy could get to Nikki. So that kind of starts there. Yeah, the courtship. Ha ha ha. This is Nine of Pentacles reversal, and a reversal of the Pentacles means nobody's having any fun here. Deception. Voided project. Bad faith. Hmm. That's the courtship? <laughs> Jeez, that sounds like crap. Like, it could mean, like, Nikki does get kidnapped. Like, from what I understand, like, that's sort of, like, future story stuff, and who says it can't be Vulture, too? A may avoided project, like, somebody is going to be giving that up, and then be some deception here. God damn, this relationship's a hot mess. I think the courtship's going to be just in a bad faith deception. But I feel like Nikki's been there before with Joy, so, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's where roguery is like like theft, you know, like a voided project could mean that it may have been something one of them gave up on and that's how there's courtship. Okay, what it adds to your life. Ha! The Knight of Wands. Well, the Knight of Wands represents ambition and passion and go, 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 see the chariot and uh, absence fly a uh, Dark young man, friendly. Uh huh. Change of residence. So somebody's moving. But what it adds is, yeah, changes, immigration. Uh, like someone who's young. Yeah, the young. They're both young, but a lot of like just ambition and passion, and that 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 would add to their lives, I imagine. But yeah, it's a younger man. Um, I feel like the rest of it might not work for either one of them. But yeah, someone who's always in motion. So that, well, I guess that adds to their lives or something like that. Strength's foundation is death. But usually it's not that bad a card. But again, it's a reversal. And a death reversal means that maybe, just maybe, certain things have been going on for too long and they need to die, but they're not dying, but it should. And there's no new life coming from this. But there's not any renewal. There's none of that. It basically means that change is being resisted. There might be a resistance to change, a resistance to... Uh, newness and as just stagnation and just definitely not good and just it's just let it die already that's strengths and foundations really so I guess it means that something's been going on for too long and that is something that needs to be dealt with challenges and obstacles is the hanged man 
This actually not a reversal, so the hanged man. And see, typically represents like a sacrifice for a gain. It means that you're kind of in suspended animation. You're you gotta do things slowly and carefully. A martyr, yeah, there is that. It is part of death. It's like seeing things from a new perspective. So it could be that. Yeah, like sacrifice. Uh huh. Prudence and between the yeah, something like that. <laughs> But that is a challenge, I would imagine, because neither one of them are that sort to do things slowly. I don't think, well, Vulture is even less patient, and and accumulation is not something he likes either. This is, this is a sacrifice, giving up one thing to be able to gain something else. I guess for Nikki, I don't think this is a problem. For Vulture, I feel like it would be. But then again, like, he's already sacrificed a lot to, um, <laughs> to Mercury, but humility is not a strength in Vulture, and, you know, it's just not, whether or not he works for Mercury Group doesn't matter, like, he's still not really a very humble person at all. Nikki is, so I feel like the Hangman, it's not an issue for Nikki, but again, with sacrifice, uh... Maybe that, like, hmm, like, maybe these sacrifices become a problem because you're not really gaining anything. That's possible. And it says we need to make space for the new by clearing away the old first. I mean, that could be a problem. I can see why that's a challenge. But it could also be, like, someone else, like Mercury, because he plans things very slowly and carefully, and he might prove to be a problem for the two of them. Like, if, if this is a thing in-game, then yeah, I could see Mercury being a real obstacle. Or Lowen. But, uh, whatever the case, like, that's certainly a very interesting challenge. Like, being a martyr could be a bit challenging. And long-term commitment, I'm not liking the look of this card. It's a Nine of Swords reversal. Which is, it's not a card you ever want to see because it represents a lot of anxiety and worry. A reversal, best case scenario, is that everything will be okay, it'll be hard, the knives are sliding off your back, but it still hurts, but you'll feel better later. There is that. And then reversals, doubt, fear, shame. But this one, like this particular like description is very negative, whereas in Mystic Mondays, it's very positive. It's so, like, best case scenario, it's going to be painful, but everything will be alright in the end. It's like crawling through a river of shit and coming out clean. Worst case scenario is, well, imprisonment, doubt, fear, shame, and and you never really let it go. Like, something like that. Or if you do let it go, it still doesn't have the desired effect. Yikes. And it's not a card you want to see. So, like, for this one, like, long-term commitment and long-term, like I said... It's uh, it depends on like how much pain they can take maybe yeah, imprisonment yikes <laughs> but uh, yeah so it's one of those things that it'll either it would most likely be just very very difficult <laughs> better work hard on this one right yeah but it could also just be saying look you know like you're worrying too much so let's get those swords out of your back and just heal. Now there's that too. So, ugh, what a hot mess. Yeah, I just, I uh, cannot see this happening in game. And I'd be shocked if it did. And I'd be pissed off too, because Nikki belongs with Kimmy. <laughs> and if not Kimmy, then Lowen. So, and, you know, we all know where Vulture belongs, and that's with Mercury. So that'll do. See you later. Goodbye.